Warning, sensitive images. On Friday, October 22nd, one of our Supreme Master Television team members sent our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai some shocking news, asking advice on it. Pope Francis says that Catholic bishops should be pastors, not politicians. His comments came Wednesday during a flight from Slovakia to Rome. He said that bishops must serve with, quote, compassion and tenderness, not condemnation. Then, Master kindly called to give the following answers on the matter. Earlier on in September, Pope Francis was calling for compassion and not condemnation for mm. Biden and mm. for other abortion-supporting Catholic politicians. So the Pope is supposed to have compassion for babies. Why then does he say such a thing that we should show compassion to Biden and to other abortion-supporting politicians? Yeah. You should ask him, not me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I guess, you know, the church has to survive and we need donations, no? Yeah. Or whatever. They are Catholic, all these people. Yes, Master. Roman Catholics. And the church is a Catholic church. Yes. So maybe it's different from a Christian church and a Catholic church. Right. Maybe in the Catholic church, the devils and angels can mix together. Oh. Yeah, in heaven it's not like that. Mm. Yes, Master. In heaven, good is good, bad is bad. Bad cannot be there. That's right. Yeah. I feel compassion for these people also. Yes. But I don't know why I should. They live their life well, they've been well paid all their lives, they've been pampered, yeah, respected and spoiled. Yes, Master. And they didn't do much. They didn't do much good for anybody. Not only they don't do good, they kill babies. Imagine if the Pope himself were killed immediately the day he was uh, uh, ripped out of his mother's womb. Would he like that then? Mm, exactly, Master. Yeah, no. would he probably feel compassion for the people who killed him? It's not just about these babies. It's a principle as tech. Yes, Master. Catholic or Christian, there is a rule, thou shalt not kill. And the Pope should be the first one who teaches them that, if they have not uh, abided by that principle. Yes, yes Master. Master. Otherwise, what for you go to the church, huh? Mm, yes, yes. What exactly. for all these uh, pious people? They pay tax for the church, they pay donations, they do all kind of charities for the church. And they keep all the principles. At least they don't kill humans. Yes. And anybody else can just also come in and then kill anybody because they have power in their hands. This is not politics. It is human lives. Yes, Master. These are little human beings. These little babies still in the womb do feel pain at a very early age, as early as 12 weeks. All of the nerve tracts are present, the connections to the part of the brain that we now know do help us experience pain. All of this is in place starting at 12 weeks and definitely finalized by 18 weeks. And we need to think again about how this humanizes even more what previously had been characterized as a clump of tissue. Obviously, these young human beings, the science backs up what we know in our heart. They do feel pain. They move, they turn, they smile, in fact, in a number of the ultrasounds. And these young human beings deserve respect and human dignity. But I came to work one night in my capacity as a labor and delivery nurse, and I received two terrible blows. The first was finding out that the hospital was involved in late-term abortions. I heard in report that we were aborting a second trimester baby that night with Down syndrome. And the second was finding out that the method of abortion that the hospital used, as John was describing, sometimes resulted in babies being aborted alive. And if they were aborted alive, they were allowed to die without any medical intervention whatsoever. I came up on a passage that I thought spoke directly to me, and it's Proverbs 24, 11 and 12, and it says, Rescue those who have unjustly been sentenced to death. Don't stand back and let them die. Don't try to disclaim responsibility by saying that you didn't know. 
For the Lord who knows all hearts knows you new, and he will reward everyone according to his deeds. Why did you end your practice of doing abortions? I did over 1,200 abortions over a four-year period in private practice, now counting the ones that I did during my training. Um, two months short of my daughter Heather's sixth birthday, she was killed in an auto accident and literally died in her arms in the back of an ambulance. And I don't remember exactly how long it was after my daughter died that I showed up at Albany Medical Center OR number 9 to perform my first second trimester d &E abortion. I wasn't thinking of it as anything special. This was routine to me. For the first time in my life, I really looked. I really looked at that pile of body parts on the side of the table. And I didn't see her wonderful right to choose, and I didn't see all the money I just made. All I could see was somebody's son or daughter. And I stopped doing late-term abortions after that, and several months later stopped doing all abortions. And this is, again, the first principle of Christianity. Thou shalt not kill. Yes, that's right. In any religion also, not just the Christians. Yes. Especially for the Christians, that should be very, very clear. Yes, yes. Master. I don't understand this Pope, truly. I was very respectful of him before. And then it seems to me like he's falling, falling, falling down for anything. Yes. As long as he can play good guy. Yeah, and yes. then... Uh, the church is still there because all the big shots support it. Yes, yes Master. They are the president, their house speaker, Madame. They are a senator. So you see what I'm saying? They are tough. They are powerful. Yes, Master. Oh, I can't believe it. The church even cold holes <laughs> to, yeah. to the powers that be. Oh. The church is supposed to be on the side of God, not the side of Satan. Yes, yes, that's right. You have spoken very clearly saying abortion is a satanic ritual. Can you speak more to that? Because our culture equates abortion with health care. <laughs> yes, it's another one of the smoke screens they use, you know, the smoke screen of choice, the smoke screen of health care, of, of reproductive choice and so forth. The Texas heartbeat law is being challenged by the satanic temple precisely on the grounds of it's a violation of their religious liberty. They need to have access to abortion to carry out their rituals. It's a satanic practice. Mm -hmm. And when we figure that, what is it, one out of four pregnancies in our country ends in an abortion, we, we are literally in the grip of the devil. These people, they're working for Satan. Exactly. They're killing innocent babies, not even at war. Just to rip the baby out and kill it. Just like that. Yes, it's horrible. Yeah, it's wrong. Terrible. My God, imagine if the Pope was that baby. Yes. yes, he would not like that. Yeah? No way. Wow, ways. then he wouldn't be sitting there talking so big. Yes, exactly. And nonsense. And uncompassionate. Yes. Compassion should be for everyone, not for the powerful and the rich. Yes, that's right, Master. Not for the politicians. In that aspect, he is talking political already, and he told everyone else not to be a politician. But he is a politician because he's siding with the murderers. And the other pastors or priests, they're siding for the innocent, helpless babies. Yes. So yes. either way, both of them are political. Yes. If he accuses the other pastors, you know, I saw it somewhere that he told his uh, pastors they're not to be politicians, not to talk political. Yes, that's See right. See what I'm saying? But he is doing it. Yes. And he's worse than them. If the others talk political, they talk about compassion, real compassion for the helpless, innocent children of God in millions. Do you understand me? Yes, yes master. master. More of them are being killed every year in the United States of America than the death camp of Auschwitz killed in its entire five-year history, every year after year after year. We've just elected a Catholic president who is diametrically opposed to all of the basic moral principles that are proclaimed by the Roman Catholic Church. I am incensed at what you are doing to someone else and I am called to protect. Woe to me if I don't preach the gospel. I have to stand up for this. And if you ask me a follow-up question, would you give them communion? No over my dead body, not until he repents. He's a public figure. He needs to publicly repent. 
And we need to pray for his conversion. And here he's siding with a bunch of politicians who just use the power to kill. Not even to kill in war. Yes, yes Master. Not even to defend for their country. Just killing because they have power to kill. <sighs> My God. Terrible. Talking about a non-political uh, viewpoint, huh? Wow, bravo. Bravo, your holiness. I should be speechless, but I have to say something. Because it's boiling inside me for these innocent babies who have done nothing wrong to him. Yes. Yeah. He's supposed to side with God. He's supposed to work for God, not for Satan. Yes, Yes, exactly, yeah. Master. These people, they are Satan. They're, if they can kill babies without blinking their eyes, they are Satan. They're working for Satan. Yes, definitely. Yes. And he's siding with them. That means he's not working for God. He's one with them. Yes. He's supporting them. Wow, I do have compassion for him. Because anyone who supports this kind of murderous policy, we also go to hell with them together. Oh, wow. Yes, so he better have compassion for himself. Yes, Mr. Yes. Yeah. It's so easy now to sit there and talk so big because you are all protected. The Pope and the big shots, the big uh, politicians, the president and all that. Yes. But once you are in hell, nobody is there for you. Oh. No bodyguards, no uh, national guard, no um, Vatican guard, nothing. No lawyer can be helping you there. No one can be around you to help you. You'll be burned separately or together. Oh. Either way, no one is there. You can't even open your mouth to call for help. You can't even remember God at that time. Oh. The pain will blind you out, will burn you out, will obliterate you, so that you can't remember anything. Yeah. Yes. And even if you call for God, the sin is too big. Millions of babies died yes, yes, master. Master. yearly. Yeah. And talking about being compassionate for the murderers, my goodness. If you're supporting or siding with the devil, then you are also yes. his uh, cooperator, no? Yes. yes. His uh, accomplice. Yeah. yeah. My goodness, I cannot imagine for the life of me. For the hundred millions of years, I could not imagine the Pope would say such things. If he doesn't have anything better to say, he better shut up. Yes, yes Master. That would be fitting more of his position as the representative of God on earth. Mm. My goodness, every day you read in the Bible, thou shalt not kill, huh? And then here you permit them to do it, and even have to have compassion for them. Yeah. Oh, I do have compassion because they don't know what they are going to, to experience in hell. They are not going to heaven. Heaven doesn't have this kind of quality. So how can they go to heaven? This kind of killing or this kind of nonsense supporting for killing, uh, uncompassionate support for murderers. And the murder in process, illegally even, they don't have this in heaven. Mm. Yes. How can heaven accept these kind of people? Yes, Master. Whoever uttered that, I can't expect that from the Pope. Maybe somebody else say it and put it in his mouth. Maybe Satan put it in his mouth. It yeah. cannot be the Pope who says these things. I can't believe this. I can't believe what I hear, what I see. Yeah. If you guys didn't send it to me, I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't know about it. I could not for one thousand million years imagine that he says such things. Yes, yes Master. master. <laughs> now I know why. I guess, I guess in my humble opinion, he supports Biden and Pelosi and all those who, who make the law for abortion, yeah? Yes, yes Master. Because they are powerful. They can help him. Yes. Uh, and the babies are helpless. They're useless to the pop. That's the only explanation I can find. Yeah. And this, similarly, I also suspect with the gay and lesbian and bisexual and trans people. Yes. Yeah. They're just two people. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. They don't have anything much to offer him. Maybe some donations. Yes. But no big deal. Yes, doesn't matter much to him. No, but like Pelosi or Biden, they can offer hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions. Yes. 
And if he wants to visit any of the states, the politicians who support him will make a pompous show to gather all the people and all oh, their supporters sure. to come. Wow, yes. it's very, very glamorous. Yes, it will be big. Feel good like, huh? Yes. It's a feel good occasion, yeah? And possibility. But the babies, they can't do anything. Yes. They can't even talk for themselves, yeah? Completely helpless. And uh, the gay people also. Yes. They already feel very ashamed to, you know, to be rejected and outcast. Yes, yeah? yes. How could they even have anything else to offer? You see, when it comes to the happiness of the people, like the gay marriage uh, situation, he condemned it. He distanced himself from it. He rejected people who just wanted to be happy. Or would he like them to just sneak around guiltily and then don't dare to openly talk about it and then they get sick? Huh? The unhygienic situation that they have to be in, then they get sick physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. Huh? So the marriage of the two people for love, it is also sacred, at least to these two people. They'll be happy. They will be loving to each other. And that contributes to the better atmosphere of our planet. He kind of detested it. But when it comes to the murdering, killing of the innocent, of the pain and suffering thereof, he condones it. He encourages it. This is not normal behavior, not to talk about the behavior of a priest, a high priest, the highest priest in the Catholic system. I have no more respect. I won't pray for these people. I condemn them. All of them who support killing innocent babies by abortion. Es el pastor con los tiles. El hostil es Dios, eh? Vicinanza, compasión, tenemos. The tenderness, compassion should be reserved for the babies, yes. for the helpless ones, the children of God. Yes. Yes. Exactly. The creation of God that was given to humankind. Oh, I cannot talk anymore. God, what has become of this world? Oh, God, it's never been so terrible like this. Your representative, God, your highest, so-called highest representative, he's, he's condoning murdering. Your children, your unborn children, dear Lord, bless you, my God. You must have feel very painful. <laughs> my God. You know, I had so much respect for him. And when he came out as a pop, I was so happy. I did even write him a letter to congratulate him and tell him that he touched my heart with his humility, according to all this PR beforehand. He's supposed to be a very humble pop. Yes, yes Master. Oh, and the power blinds him now. Everybody gives him salutes and kotos. And now he became too big. Eh? The world has gone crazy. It's all under the influence of Satan. Blind. They all sell their souls or something. Mm -hmm. Sell their souls to Satan for richness, for fame, for consolidation of their position, their power. They have no soul, no heart in them. Maybe Satan has taken all their souls away. Uh -huh. It's just an empty shell possessed by the demons. Whatever excuse, killing is, is never the tenet of any religion. And they profess that they are Catholic. And even the head of the Catholics, the Pope, acts against the tenet. Yes. The number one precept, yes. thou yes. shall not kill. Even the five years old children know the Ten Commandments, if they are Catholic or Christian, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. Even have to treat these murderers with tenderness. I saw that in the article, no? Yes. Can you believe that? Oh, no. And who is having compassion and tenderness for the babies 
who were just murdered immediately the day they're born, or before that. Nobody there to talk for the babies. Yes. Nobody defends it. Even if he cries, nobody hears. Yes. The whole world is deaf when it comes to goodness and compassion. And there are many solutions. They can make orphanages. They can give them away. They have so much money, you know, to do that. Especially America or Europe. Yes, ma'am. They can do it. Instead of protecting humans, they are killing humans in war and in peace as well. If uh, the government has an orphanage and uh, every woman who has like an unwanted pregnancy or unexpected pregnancy but could not keep the child for any reason at all because, you know, life is sometimes really not very kind yes, to women sure. or, or to people, yes? yes? And she will be feeling very relaxed and secure because she knows the government will accept her child. Oh, yes. Then she would never want to kill her child. Oh, yes, yes. I think 99.9% of women will never want to abort a child in their body. Yes, I understand. She can give it to the government's uh, orphanage, yeah? Yes. Or maybe even uh, NGO will run it for the government. The government will just back them up. Oh, okay. Good idea. Yeah, yeah many volunteers would want to do it also, yeah? Yes. Oh, oh, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. It's a moment Pastor Lee Jong Rak has experienced many times. Oh. The arrival of a tiny bundle. A newborn left in his purpose built baby box. In South Korea, hundreds of unwanted babies are abandoned every year. So it's very simple just to do that, yeah? Yes, Master. Why spend trillions for killing and not spending some millions or billions just to save lives? Yes, yes. That will be pleasing to heaven and bring you a lot, a lot of merit that will rescue yourself also the day you die. Oh, yes. Whoever organizes all this. Yeah, to save a life is ah, in- incredible blessing, almost like limitless, and that to rescue your soul also. You don't have to go to hell. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I feel so pain that uh, one supposed to be the biggest religious leader in the world, yeah? Yes, yes Master. In the Christian world, behaves like that. Yes, yes Master. Master. Behaves so ignorantly, so wickedly, yeah? Uttering some wicked things like that, yeah? To make an example for the world. Our war must be coming to an end or something. How can that be? Because everybody wants to kill. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. We cannot live without each other. Yes, That's right. right, Master. We cannot live without the population. Each one has a job to do. They stop all that. Yes, they want the, the world to stand still. Oh, yes. And no more workers, no more intelligence, no more helpers, no more inventors, no more great doctors, no more whatever. We need younger people coming up for everything in society. Even laborers we need because we are short everywhere. That's right. I read it in the news. 
A fuel crisis in one of the world's richest nations. Petrol pumps in the UK are running dry because there aren't enough truck drivers to deliver the fuel. Shortage of drivers, those who actually transport that fuel. In the school district of Philadelphia Food Services never delivered food yesterday for students' breakfast and lunch. Nationwide vet shortage is now taking a toll on a Lakeland Animal Hospital. Today, there are five million fewer people uh, working today than before the pandemic. That's why many countries are short of electric power, short of gas power, yes, yes. short of many essential supplies even, yeah? Yes, that's yes. right. And food, and continue killing babies. Oh, coming from the pub. I don't know what kind of food he eats every day. That he had to sp spill out this kind of murderous speech. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm risking myself, but I don't care. Nah? I do care. I wish I live long so I can help more if if I can. But just, just somebody had to say something. Yeah. It's all quiet for the murderers and the supporters because they are the pop, they are pastors, they are presidents, they are house speakers, they are senators mm -hmm. or governors or whoever they are. The top powerful people on this planet are leading all to hell. I just, I just truly hope that the world will get better and, and God please help us. Otherwise all the innocent will be murdered in such a way that this is just like hell now. You can see clearly they are not humans. Yes, they are Master. demons. Yes, for yes. sure. Or the demon possessed beings because they're so greedy for power that the demons can do it. You see, they are not protected by morals, by God's blessing. So they can be possessed and controlled by demons. How oh, this kind of people sitting at the top and misleading the world, damaging the tenet of Jesus yes, and God's. Yes commandments. I condemn all these people. Mm. They are not good for the world. Mm, that's right, Master. If they don't repent, they should be condemned. They should do the opposite. Then maybe I will have compassion. Maybe I will pray for them. But right now they are devils. I don't pray for the devils to prosper. I don't pray for the devils to continue to harm innocent human beings and babies. I just pray God that they all listen. We also. I pray God to give them the power to understand what I'm saying, to, to believe what I'm saying and just to do what God's will. Because God says everywhere in all the religions, thou shalt not kill. We would like to express our immense gratitude for Compassionate Master's courageous advocacy for the unborn beloved children of God who are in great need of protection and loving acceptance by all. May we help the next generation grow up to be valuable members of our communities as we cherish the youngest and oldest as equally significant. Wishing Gracious Master abiding peace and health secured by all heavenly protectors. To learn more about the benefits of creating orphanages, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples on Tuesday, November 9th for the full broadcast of this phone call.